Hello, welcome to Kimmel Bay Church Vlogs. Today we're continuing on our series of men and women of the Bible. And today we'll be looking at Bathsheba. Bathsheba's story is not an easy or a nice one to tell. It's one of deception, disgrace and death. But it's also a story of repentance and forgiveness. Most commentaries that are other books that I've read that talk about David and Bathsheba focus so much on David, but often quite little on Bathsheba. I wanted to focus today on Bathsheba and the life-changing effects of King David watching her having her bath, but not just the life-changing effects for her, but how that has fitted in into the greater story of the Bible. When we're first introduced to Bathsheba in the Bible, it's in 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 3, when we're told that the man that David sent to find out about her reported back that she was Bathsheba, daughter of Iliam and wife of Uriah. David had sent someone to find out who she was because he'd watched her bathe. He saw that she was beautiful and he lusted after her. He wanted her for himself. Bathsheba was not just having an afternoon relaxing bath. She was bathing herself to purify herself from her monthly uncleanness, an act which should have been just between her and God, but something, an act on which David intruded. When the man returned and told King David who she was, at this point, David knew that she was married to another man. He could have stopped and turned away and left it at that, but he didn't. He pursued Bathsheba. He'd seen her, he'd seen that she was beautiful and he wanted her for himself. So he began the slippery slope of lies and deception. He had Bathsheba brought to him. The word in the original Hebrew text means seize, take captive. Certainly not words which sound like she had any choice in the matter. Culturally at the time, women were seen as little more than possessions. So she wouldn't have been able to object to David. David had her brought to him and he slept with her and then sent her home. Bathsheba became pregnant. She informed the king she made, sent a messenger to inform the king of her pregnancy. But upon hearing the news, King David tried to cover up his wrongdoing, which resulted in Bathsheba's husband, Uriah, being killed in battle. After which, David took Bathsheba as his own wife. David probably thought at this point that he'd got away with it. But scripture tells us in 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 27, that what the thing that David had done displeased God. David and Bathsheba's son was born. But in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 15, we read, the Lord struck the child and it became ill. Soon afterwards, the infant child died. My heart goes out to Bathsheba. You can't read any of this without your heart breaking for her. She was a woman who'd suffered greatly, being the victim of multiple life-changing traumas, being separated from her husband whilst he was at war, being summoned for the king to the king for his pleasure, losing her husband in battle. We don't know if she's aware of the circumstances of her husband's death, and then suffering the loss of her newborn baby. It is enough to break anybody it's such a heartbreaking trail of destruction that's gone on because of David's lust after Bathsheba. Whilst Bathsheba grieved the loss of her husband, her new baby, her life as she'd known it before King David, she couldn't have known what her life and the life of her second born son would mean in the grand scheme of things. Even though this was a terrible start to the relationship, we have the benefit of hindsight. We get to see the positives from this tragic time in her life. After all this tragedy, God did not forget about Bathsheba. He redeemed her. 
He blessed her with a son, Solomon. Nowadays, we would call Solomon a rainbow baby. That's a baby born after a baby loss or a pregnancy loss. It draws on the image of a rainbow representing something of beauty after a dark time, after a terrible storm. Scripture tells us that God himself loved this child. Furthermore, God included her in the lineage of Christ. Bathsheba, Bathsheba's story is a traumatic story, but it is also a story of redemption. And there are a number of things that we can learn from Bathsheba. No matter how difficult, how traumatic our past has been, with God there is always hope. With God we can overcome. We can turn our lives around. Our past doesn't need to write our future. Our lives can be transformed. When we're, when we're going through dark and difficult times, our faith is tested the most. One of the songs that we sing here at church, which has really challenged me in the past, is Blessed Be Your Name. The words, every blessing you pour out, I will turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, blessed be your name. The line, you give and take away, reminds me, God has given us so much, but he can also take it away. Those words are words that are easy to sing in times of plenty, in times of joy. But are they words that we are still able to sing during dark times, during difficult times? As we look at David and the despicable way that he began the relationship with Bathsheba, and yet we look at how God didn't turn him away. He didn't turn his back on him. He forgave him. Yes, God punished him by taking away his son, but God offers us that same forgiveness to each and every one of us for our wrongdoings. Only for us, he sent his own son to take away the punishment. We just need to repent and to ask for that forgiveness. Bathsheba went through a terrible time. Bathsheba's story is a time of, a story of tragedy, but it is also a story of redemption, of God's love, and of forgiveness. Thank you for joining us. Bye.